Hello everybody and welcome to Speed Dating for Ghosts. I have had this in my uh, game library for a while now, and I was trying to scroll around and see if I have any spooky games that aren't really like genuinely scary. I think this might be one of them. I don't know, I saw ghosts and I was going for it, and it sounds like it could be fun considering it's about speed dating. So I say, let's try it out. Oh, hello. Oh, hello there, General Kenobi. You must be here for the speed dating. My name's Fran. I run this little operation. So what's the deal? No, nice to meet you, Fran. You're a nice one. We get all kinds of ghosts here. Oh, I'm dead. I wasn't expecting to find out this way. Nice ones, sad ones. A few spooky customers. It gets lonely being a ghost. Uh, I do like being alone. IRL, but being alone forever and ever and ever would be pretty difficult. It has? Wonderful. Then let's get started. We've got three rooms set up. Each with their own super fun themes. You pick one. And sit at a table. Then what? Another ghost who also signed up sits across from you. You'll have a few minutes to get to know them. Then a bell rings. And you switch seats. A bell rings from somewhere. Just like that. In all, you'll meet three ghosts over two rounds and at the end you get to choose your favorite if they liked you too you go on a date how's all that sound oh uh, uh, we'll see it'll be an experience at least first things first though oh what thing what Choose your room. Room of palms, room of liars, room of black. Let's go with the room of liars. The room of liars looks a bit like a conference hall. The kind you might see in an airport hotel. There was a meeting of regional managers here yesterday. Followed by some couple's 65th anniversary in the evening. They left a few balloons behind. Worn, plush stacking chairs are set on either side of the lacquered oak tables. In one corner, there are wine glasses and a metal pitcher of water, alongside a stainless steel urn for coffee. Ghosts don't need coffee. One particularly nervous ghost is holding a cup anyway. Some habits never die. We got it. Ooh, the bell rings and a ghost appears. Oh no! Oh ah! ghost! Oh god! Sorry! Of course you're a ghost. We all are. I'm still not used to this whole being dead thing. That's one of my favorite songs on the Beetlejuice musical soundtrack. I'm not that I'm not used to it either. I actually just found out I was dead. Nothing prepares you for this life. Don't you mean death? Except this isn't life. Post life? I feel so lost. When I used to have anxiety attacks, I'd focus on my breathing, listen to my heart beating. Now I can't breathe. I don't even have blood. And yet somehow you're sweating. What does that mean? Uh, take it one step at a time. Steps. Yeah. That's a good one. It took me forever just to learn how to walk on solid ground. When I first woke up, after I died, I fell right through my coffin, through my own body, down, 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 into the bedrock. It was so dark. That sounds awful. It was. I'll never forget the confusion, the helplessness. I seized up. That stopped me from falling. It was like my whole body became corporeal. Not flesh, just like, you, you know how if you concentrate, you can pick up objects like that, except I was the object and the earth was holding me. It was so quiet there, stuck in solid rock. Uh, how long were you?
were you down there? It's hard to say. I didn't know much at that point. I didn't even know I died. Let alone what was happening. Where I was. Ah! The bell rings. Oh. That was just the bell. Oh. Uh, thank you for listening. I guess we'll talk more in a bit. Hopefully the other ghosts are as nice as you. Who's our next date? Another ghost appears. Oh! Well, look what we have here. The ghost voice creaks like ancient wood. The name's Spooky Peter. He tips his hat. Milady. <laughs> I'm a ghosty. <laughs> Dust spills off the brim. How do you do? I do okay. I'd wager otherwise. Like maybe you're scared. Like maybe you've seen a ghost. Spooky Peter laughs. Or coughs. It's hard to tell. You definitely are spooky. Thank you for saying so. I've been doing this for a while. My record of hauntings goes back as long as the door. Since the Black Death took me at 65. 1665. I thought the plague was earlier. The Black Death came in waves. Lingered for centuries. I was a doctor in London. I, put, I picked the wrong voice for this guy, didn't I? I knew I'd got it. I've committed at this point. The second the chill started, I was dead in days. Last great gasp of bubonic on the island. Some 68,000 went with me. Ever since then, I've been spooking, folks. Even been in books. Not always by name, mind you. But you can tell when it's me. The top hat. The fear. All hot and sick. Nobody spokes them like Spooky Peter. Are you the devil? Just one of his helpers. You could be too. There's something in your eyes. A potential. Teach me your spooky ways, Spooky Peter. Now, now. Spooky Peter doesn't just teach anybody. A rock has potential. Before you throw it through a window. What makes you any better? Uh... I turn milk into worms! Gross affair, hey? I suppose I can see that working. Especially if they're drinking the milk when it happens. Yeah, I get it right down their throat. Worms is a leap, though. Maggots will blend in a little better. People are spooked by the unexpected. Messing with something familiar like that? It can be pretty spooky, for sure. No way are they going near milk again. Spooky Peter laughs. <laughs> or coughs. It's hard to tell. So how's that for a lesson? What else you got? Slow down there, bedsheet. Learning to spook em takes time. If a legendary spookin' is what you're after, then Spooky Peter's gonna take you under his wing, so to speak. You'll need a solid foundation. It's all about knowing your audience. A good spookin' is in the details. Gotcha. Thank you, Sensei. The bell rings. You taught me so much, Spooky Peter. The bell. It means we move on. Guess I'll be seeing you when I come back around. Perhaps they'll have another lesson for me. A thick layer of dust now covers the table. Good thing we didn't have any food, because we're ghosts. Another ghost appears! Oh, hi! Wanna make some money? Maybe? What, maybe? It's a yes or a no! You're pretty pushy. You say pushy. I say ambitious. I'm a businessman, after all. Consider this a job interview. Do ghosts even need money? Technically, no. We don't buy things. But money buys something else now. Favors with the breathers. Influence. Information. The living always want the money. 
the living by plenty. The name's Leon, by the way. I rob banks, don't judge. Uh, you rob banks? Banks. Financial institute. I know what a bank is, idiot. I just want more freaking explanation. Cash condos. You know the joints. I know what banks are, that's just what I said. Good. You passed the test then. You meet my impossibly high requirements. A ghost who knows what a bank is. Let's do this. The problem with robbing banks? People see the robbers. Bet you can't see a ghosty. We can walk right in and float that money right on out. Genius, right? It's the perfect crime. I can't believe I'm humoring you. <laughs> You know it'll be a good time. We might get money out of it. And what are the consequences? Are the cops gonna arrest a ghost? No. No, they are not. Uh, I'm s- uh, um, I mean, you got a point. There's no harm in me hearing you out. No harm at all. At the very least, it'll break up all the gloom in this room. Leon looks around at all the other ghosts. Yeesh. Oh, thank God! Save me! The bell rings. Nuts! Time to switch seats. Don't worry. I'll be back. We got more to talk about. Oh, I don't want to talk to you again! The second round begins. Hello again! The other ghosts! Holy, they were awful! Leon's just a creep! And Spooky Peter! That name is earned! Oh! Also, I think I forgot to introduce myself. Uh, my name's Kyo. Uh, sorry. Leon's a piece of- Don't- No, no need to be sorry. No need, sure. I'm still sorry, though. My anxiety gets the best of me, and social situations are tough. This one especially. Leon's a piece of work, I'll agree with that. I'll say! He actually asked me to rob a bank! Can you believe that? When I told Fran... She must have flipped. She wasn't happy. She made this grumbly noise, then something switched on, and she was smiling again. Thank you for bringing this to my attention, she said, and then she skipped away. I don't know what's gonna happen now. I'm honestly worried for Leon. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's probably for the best. Right? Who comes to speed dating looking for bank robbers? Leon's got some guts. Or whatever the ghost equivalent is. Hmm. I, I like you the best, Kyo. I don't want to come off as an asshole. Because you're not like the other ghosts. But it, it's, a, it's not like hashtag not like other girls. It's like in a good way. Uh... Your speed dates are going well, then. At best, dating ghosts is frustrating. Everyone asks the same things. How did you die? What was your life like? If we were alive, the questions would be like, What kind of food do you like? What's your favorite movie? Dying doesn't make people more interesting. It's Video Roam, by the way. My favorite movie, I mean. Uh, long live the new flesh. Ha! <laughs> you know it? Oh, they're smiling. Sometimes I feel like a VCR. Obsolete. Oh, buddy. Out of date. No new stories to tell. We could find some new stories. Maybe. Or we could just rewatch old ones. You missed things the first time. So... Do you want to hear how I died? If you want to talk about it. Might as well get it out of the way. I was in film studies, working my way toward a PhD. In debt, always pretty sad. I had good friends though. I was always studying. One weekend they convinced me not to study. They said we should go to the lake instead. I couldn't swim, I never learned. You see where this is going. I drowned. Everything went black and quiet. I woke up dead in a fancy wooden box, under six feet of dirt. That's when I fell deeper. 
Like I told you before, I hate thinking about it. Why do I always dwell on the bad stuff? What's your favorite food? Seriously? You're asking me my favorite food? Oh, I'm sorry, was that a bad idea? Coffee's a food, right? It's coffee. We should go for coffee after this. At a coffee shop? No thanks. We can't drink coffee anymore. And I hate being around the living. They somehow make me even sadder. Uh, we could go to an art gallery? Art galleries depress me. Half of the art is super sad, and all of it's better than anything I could do. Which just reminds me that I wasted my life. So I'm gonna say no to art. Tell you what, I'll come up with something. Something a little different. Ho hopefully. That sounds good. Yay! I can't wait to do something with you. This isn't talking about myself. Uh, sorry. The bell rings. See you after we're done. So far, you're the strongest contender. Cause I I made spook. I made you. You sound like you're like four hundred years old, and I'm your um, I'm your apprentice. And Leon sounds like he's gonna try and get me into crypto and bank robbery. My spooky protege returns. What knowledge do you seek, protege? I want to know it all. In time. A truly spooky ghost requires one thing. One thing above all else. What is it? Tell me. Oh, <laughs> patience. I'm not very patient. What spooks Spooky Peter? I'm curious. Not much. Though I will say, I ain't so fond of beasts. You're scared of animals? Beasts are all instinct. Their fear is primal. Tangible. I can't spook a beast. Not like a person. I take it you don't have a pet. Never. And I steer clear of people who do. Spooky folk like me rely on a certain covertness. I can't just be all clanging about, announcing myself. That's not so spooky. Cats, they can scent Spooky Peter. They know I'm there. If I hide in the closet, they'll scritch and scratch at the door, start yelling, even run around in the dark to wake the owners, I wager. It's trouble, let me tell you. A real impediment. Spooky Peter wheezes. Something's rattling around in there. Are you okay? Hey, the rattle don't bind. I died with it. Oh! It stays with me. You ever been to the mirror world? What's that? The place beyond this. But the same as this. You've seen it. But always looking in. Interesting. The bell rings. If you fancy another lesson, come on by that edge of things. I'll show you around the other side. I'd like that. Maybe you think you'll like it, seeing it's another thing entirely. Some things. Some things spooky, even spooky Peter. I'll remember that, Peter. Oh no. Ugh. No. Okay, so, here's what I'm thinking. You'll come with me, while I get a third ghost to watch the door. We can plan later. Why, though? We got the time now. Might as well use it. What if someone hears? Good thinking. You're a careful one. I can see that coming in handy. Lord knows I could stand to be more careful. Did you steal when you were alive? Do sharks have fins? Shh. Fran's coming. How's everything going over here? Just great, Fran. I think I found the one. I'm glad to hear that, Leon. Carry on. Don't mind me. Just checking in. She's on to you, man. Do you think she knows? Hard to say. The trouble with me is, 
It's hard not to talk about stealing. I stole candy when I was nine. Switched to stealing beer at 14? Stole my first car a year later. I hit up convenience stores, drive-ins, even held up a laundromat once. I threw my back out, carrying all those quarters. Why did you steal? More like, why do I steal? It made more sense than other work. Getting robbed by the man. Legally, you know? Now I steal because I can turn invisible. Used to dream of a power like that. It would have kept me out of a lot of jail. I robbed five banks in all when I was alive. I spent the rest of my life behind bars. So you have unfinished business. Nothing so dramatic. Stealing's just all I know. It's a hobby. A talent. The love of my life. I thought I was the one. The bell rings. That's our time. You've heard my pitch. Gotten to know me. A little more than I like. What the fuck does that mean? So what do you say? No. Nope. Fair enough. You know the plan. You know me. If you could change your mind, I'll be at this branch. At this time. Leon slides you a slip of paper. Can I slide it back? It's been a slice. God. Choose your date. I want to go with Kyo. Spooky Peter was cool, but he seems like pretty old. And like, I don't know. I'm I'm not I'm, I'm not much of a spooky person. I'm kind of a wimp. And while it's cool to learn how to spook, it seems like that's all Spooky Peter really wants to talk about. Leon is literally gonna try. He's gonna get into after he finishes his bank robberies, if that ever ends. He's gonna go into crypto or NFTs. Kyo is kind of depressing but i can understand it i want to give him a chance i th i think out of all of these people this is the person who has the best chance with me and you know maybe i would love to hear about their idea maybe we can make them smile again it was really sweet to see them smile so let's go with kyo you meet kyo the next day waiting on the street as you approach looking nervous Aw, I'm nervous. Are you nervous? Definitely. What? I said I'm nervous too. Hold on a second. Let me take off these headphones. That's better. So what were you saying? I'm just excited. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm worried the place we're going is boring. It's pretty much... Well, the middle of nowhere. Not literally. I, I know because we're ghosts. The middle of nowhere could mean something weird. Just come with me. Where are we going? Where are we going? Kyo takes you to the woods. Deep into the trees, far from any paved roads. Did you know I make greeting cards? For ghosts to give to other ghosts. Happy anniversary of your tragic end. I'm happy for your loss. That sort of thing. It's just a hobby. Oh, but I like that. It's cool to learn about you. You stop at a particularly barren patch of prairie land. Everything is frozen over. The few clusters of trees are stripped of their leaves, with branches like bony hands. Squat birds huddle together for warmth near a frozen lake, while a dry, biting wind blows through. Isn't it great out here? I come here to think. I watch the birds. I listen to music. There aren't even many souls here. Just the birds and the wind. I see why you like it. I can be myself here. No one bothers me. I don't need happy things to remind me that I'm not happy. I need sad things to remind me. It's okay to be sad sometimes. That's a nice way to put it. It's exhausting to worry like I do, but I'd rather embrace my sadness than just ignore it. Sadness is a real thing, as real as we are anyway, so I embrace it. Kyo looks out onto the frozen lake. Come with me. I want to show you something. Kyo leads you away from the lake toward a pocket of trees. Hidden among the poplars and pines is an old house. 
The woods is gray and brittle. The roof collapsed long ago. This house is a tiny thing. When it was standing, it had just a single room. Inside, the floors are rotted through and covered in layers of bird droppings. In one corner, a wood burning stove is rusted through. There's not much else. An entire family lived here. Kids were born here. People died here. And then it was abandoned. Left to fall apart. Lost among the trees. Now it's my home. I love what you've done with it. I would never change a thing. It's perfect. Kill leads you back out into the cold. Back out to the edge of the frozen lake. Is this the lake where you died? This is as far as I will ever go now. And you know what? That's fine. Everything's fine. Ooh! Wait, what's the graveyard mean? Oh! We get different things for talking to different ghosts! Why is that one falling over? Who's that? Interesting. There's a beach? Huh? Oh, there's more to this game than I expected! Oh, you know what that means. We have to go through and get all the other ghosts, too. I'm probably not gonna do the other two today. I think for the other two, I wanna wait, because we still have two other rooms to visit and three other ghosts to meet. I wanna meet all the ghosts and then see who are our first picks, and then maybe we'll have another episode where we go back and we go on a date with all of the ghosts that we rejected before, and maybe rob a bank, according to Leon. But I really liked this! This was so sweet and adorable! I love the idea of speed dating for ghosts. It's such a little premise, I really like it. And it was interesting to see the different styles of ghosts. Kyo is definitely my favorite, but who knows? Maybe we'll find some more favorites in the other rooms. If you want to see the other ghost endings for yourself, make sure to pick up this game on Steam and check it out for yourself. See which ghosts that you want to date, because there's always a ghost out there for everyone. That's the saying, right? There's plenty of ghosts in the graveyard or something? I don't know. But either way, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourselves, listen for the bell, and have a good day.